hello ladies and gents welcome back to my channel this is the lady of lace wigs I am getting ready to put my little girl here through some toning now you guys let me just give you a background just really quick this unit I bought off of um, Instagram you guys remember I did a video on it but as you can see she has gone through some changes She's gone through two bleaches and one color. And you know how when you bleach a unit, it gets that orangey look? Well, I didn't like the orange look, so I put a, I put some color on it. And I used Dark Golden Mahogany Blonde from Color Brilliance. And that's how I got her to look like this. And um, this is not a bad look. I, I, I don't like the demarcation though, okay? So, um, I decided to watch a video from Chrissy Bells. You guys, I'm sure, know her. And um, she said, you know, to get rid of the brassiness that she put this Wella toner in on her units. Well, you guys... I just come back from Sally's. Yes. <laughs> this whole bag is dedicated to this unit right here. And so what I picked up was some toners. I have the Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Toner and in T27. I have four boxes because that's a lot of hair. Okay, I don't know how much it's going to take, but that's a lot of hair. That's 24 to 26 inches in length. So I got four boxes of the 27, T27. And I also have four boxes of the T18. Now, I think the unit that she did, the video that I saw on Chrissy Bell's site, she did the T35. But unfortunately, they didn't have the T35, so I chose the 27. And then I also bought their 20 developer to go with this. And then <laughs> I picked up some more purple shampoo or shimmering light shampoo. And this is, of course, is supposed to help with brassiness as well. So, what I'm getting ready to do is mix my T27 and 18 together. You're supposed to use one part of the uh, toner, two parts of the developer. And so, <coughs> I'm going to mix all this together. Yeah. And then put it on this unit right here. Yeah. And then she is going to sit, you guys, for 48 to 72 hours. Okay. I have no idea what it's going to turn out to be, how it's going to look. I'm just praying that I still have hair on this wig. Okay. As you can see, after two bleaches and a color, she has, I mean, she's taking this, she's taking everything I'm giving her like a champ. So I'm praying that she will continue to hold strong through this last thing, okay? And I'll come back and show you guys the results. So stick around. This is, this should be very interesting. That's what it is. Okay, see, so yeah, I had it all wrong. Thank God I read these instructions over again the toner does not stay in the wig for for 48 to 72 hours you guys it is the purple shampoo that you're supposed to soak the wig in you're supposed to soak it for 48 to 72 hours in the purple shampoo rinse that out after your 72 hours then mix your toners apply it let it stay on for 45 minutes and then purple shampoo it again and condition it and let it air dry and voila, um, 24 hours later you should have 
a beautiful unit. That makes more sense because I was going, oh my God. Letting toner stay on a wig for 48 to 72 hours is going to be just like my baking soda episode. So thank God I read those instructions again more clearly. And so, you guys, I wanted to come in and show you the unit that I'm wearing right now. This is 26 inches, okay, of beautiful, kinky, well, I want to say it's kinky, straight, but they call it yakky coarse. You say tomato, I say tomato. It's the same thing. But anyway, 26 inches, you guys. So let me just take it down. Oh, let me just show you what it looks like. All, all the way around first all right so this is the front of the unit and like I said it is adhered down with the bold hold uh, liquid adhesive or I guess they call it a cream adhesive now this is the unit that I've had uh, for maybe a month now and it was of course in this original color of brown like a number two and of course you can see the destruction I have done to this unit oh my goodness so this is what it looks like right now you guys and even though I did all of that stuff to this hair the texture is still the same the um, the hair is not too damaged Okay, let's just be honest, when you use bleach hair, you're damaging the hair, okay? Especially a wig. So because it doesn't have blood and oxygen and all that coming coming through it like our not our natural hair would. Our natural hair can recover, but this is going to be damaged because I bleached it bleached the heck out of it. Okay, guys, it really does. Look at this hair. Hopefully my camera is not freaking out right now but look at this hair okay even though I did all of those things to it the hair doesn't look damaged it still looks like it did when I first got it I wanted you guys to see it I, I wanted you guys to see this beautiful hair to see the application and uh, yeah I will see you guys on the next one this is the lady at 50 signing off for now be blessed and a blessing and I will see you on the next video